all right now the next question it says it is a question of reverse calculation let's see what it means it says the population of a town increases by 20 percent every year right if the present population is 4 lakh 32000 find the population two years ago now this is a very interesting situation a percentage calculation can only be done in the forward direction right remember that so if there is a value 100 if it increases by 20 percent it will become 120 it does not mean that if you reduce 120 by 20 percent you will get 100 let's see what happens right i repeat if you increase a certain value by a certain percentage you get a new value if you decrease this value by this percentage will you get this value no be really careful here let's do the calculation if i reduce 120 by 20 percent what will happen 10 percent of 120 is 12 so 20% will be 24 so if i subtract 24 i'll get 96 so the reverse calculation never happens in percentage directly then how do we do that let's see as i said percentage calculation can be done only in forward direction or the way they are mentioned so here it says the population of a town increases by 20 percent every year that means we can assume the population of the town of a certain year and then we can go on increasing we cannot go backward let's do one thing here the present population is given and we want the population two years ago so let's assume that two years ago the population was 100 right then what will happen one year ago what would have happened one year ago what would happen at the present situation let's see one thing we know that from two years ago to one year ago it is a forward situation from one year ago to present this is also a forward situation so the calculation can be done now this is a period of one year from two years ago to one year ago what will happen the value will increase by 20 percent okay so it is plus 20 percent this 20 percent is calculated by 100 so it becomes 120 so the population one year ago is 120 now from one year ago to present that also is a period of one year in every period it increases by 20 percent and it has to be compounded so again in this year 20 percent but on this value now 120 20 percent will be how much 10 percent is 12 20 percent will be 24 it is added so it becomes 144 so we get the present population as 144 if two years ago population was 100 right and this present population of 144 is given for like 32,000. So we'll simply apply the unitary method. So we say that 144, if 144 is equivalent to 4 like 32,000, then what will be value equivalent to 100, right? So if 144 is 4 like 32,000, then 100 will be. So it is 100 into cross multiplication method, 100 into 4 like 32,000 divided by 144. So 144, three times is 432. You can cancel one by one. So, 100 into 3 is 300,000. That means the population two years ago was 300,000. Right? So, this was a good question to show that you cannot do it directly. Okay? Now, so here one method that we have applied, we have assumed the two years ago population as 100. There is another way to do it. Instead of 100, what we can say is, the other method says, Let's take another thing. Uh, I, I'll also introduce another concept, the decimal concept. Okay, let's see. Suppose two years ago, population was, let two years ago population be X. Right? So, what will be the population one year ago? One year ago, population would be, this is a period of one year. So, in one year, what happens? In one year, the population is going to increase by 20%. So, one year ago the population would be x plus 20 percent of x. Now, if you simplify it is x plus 20 by 100 x. Now, 20 by 100 is 0 0.2. So, x plus 0 0.2 x that is x common 1 plus 0 0.2 which is 1.2 x. Now, what I wanted to explain was this thing you can write directly without getting into the details of this process. If something increases by 20 percent it becomes 100 plus 20 by 100 that is 1.2 suppose it was 10 percent what will happen it will become 1.10 this is 1.20 to memorize you memorize in two digit format right so I'll, I'll just mention like this i'll give you the initial value let's say initial value and i'll give you the percentage change and the final value right Suppose initial value is x and there is an increment of 20%. You can directly say it is 1.20x. 
Zero doesn't mean, but to memorize, it becomes easier. Suppose the initial value is x and it increases by 25%. What will happen? 1.25x. Suppose there is a value x and it increases by 50%. What will be the new value? The new value will be 1.5x. You can directly apply these things. This will be really helpful for uh, uh, faster calculation. Suppose something increases by 12%. What will happen? It will be written as 1.12x. Right? Suppose something increases by 100%. What will happen? Now, suppose something increases by 100%, then it must become double. So, it will be 2, 2x straight away. Because it is 100, point 100 is not possible. 0, 0 will be there. So, 1 will come up. So, it is 2x. Okay. Suppose something increases by 150%. Now, what will happen? So, for 100%, it will become 2. And for 50%, it will become 0.5. So, it is 2.5x. Right? So, whatever is the incremental percentage, it will just come after decimal. Right? So, it is 1.50x and so on. The same thing can be applied for decrease also. Let's see how. If there is an initial value x and that decreases by 20%, how do you write it? So, the way we did 1 plus 0 0.20 for 20% increment, similarly it will be 1 minus 0 0.20. You can directly write it as 0.80x. What you can also think is, you can add or subtract this value to 100 and put a decimal after two digits. Right? So, 100 minus 20 is 80. So, it has to be 0 0.80. Let's say if something decreases by 15%. How do you write it? 100 minus 15 is 85. So, it will become 0.85x. You know, if, if there is a value that decreases by 25%. So, how will you write it? 100 minus 25 is 75. So, it is 0.75x. If there is a value that decreases by 78%, how do you write it? So, it is decreased by 78%. So, it becomes 100 minus 78, that is 22. So, 0.22x. Right? So, this thing can be done directly. Right? So, original value, if you know, if you know the percentage change, you can directly multiply the original value by a certain thing and you can write the final value. Okay? So, having done this and seeing this calculation, what I can do is I can remove this and we can simply say, that let the population two years ago be x. So, the population one year ago will be just plus 20 percent. Now, when we are adding 20 percent, 100 plus 20. So, it is 1.20x. Then, present population. What will be the present population? Now, this is very important. We have the original value here as 1.20 and this increases by 20 percent. So, what will happen? For this 20 percent, we will multiply 1.2 and the original value is 1.2x. So, it becomes 1.44x. This 1.44x is given 4,32,000. So, 1.44x is equal to 4,32,000. So, x is equal to 4,32,000 divided by 1.44. If you remove decimal, you will get 4,32,000 into 100 divided by 144. 144 cancels 432 three times and it is the same calculation which gives us as 3 lakh as the answer. Alright, so either you can use 100 as the base or you can use x as the base and then remember this, how to multiply, how to get the new value whenever it is increased. Here, just remember, for this 20%, we multiply by 1.2 to the original value in this case 1.20x. Now, the way original value here was x, and we for this 20%, we multiplied by 1.20. Similarly, here this 20% is on this, so this whole value into 1.2 and so on and so forth, right. This we could have done in the previous question also, go back and check 